Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm here now living in Dubai. I used to live in Chile, but hey, I'm loving it here in Dubai. So I uh, today I want to show you guys how to buy and sell Bitcoin on a particular exchange called Bitstamp. I think that's the most important thing. People always want to know, well, how do I buy Bitcoin? Well, today you're going to learn exactly that, how to buy Bitcoin using Bitstamps. In other videos, I will show you how to buy it on Binance and probably a few other exchanges as well. So look out for those videos coming out soon. Well, buying Bitcoin uh, is, you know, really a simple process, a lot simpler than you really think. And most people, when they tell you to buy Bitcoin, they try to tell you, hey, you need to take it from the exchange right away, right? You can't leave it there. It's going to be, you're going to lose all your money and scare you the pants off of you. And I, I, I did the exact same thing I, for quite a while. In fact, the funny story is I even paid this guy a thousand dollars in Bitcoin if he just took it off the exchange because I was such a, you know, a, a, a hard line. I took a hard line stance in taking possession of your Bitcoin. And whilst you should do that eventually as a newbie, as a person who's new to cryptocurrencies, you should first leave it on the exchange then take a small amount off to, to practice how do you use how do you use a wallet and remove the cryptocurrencies off the exchange but for now just buying it and leaving it there is fine don't have to worry about taking it off the exchange for just now just get used to simply buying it's because uh, you know what even though the process is really quite simple is just transfer your money to to the exchange um, and then hit the buy button it can be a little intimidating for anyone who comes into uh, this process because it's new to them. All right. Well, I'm sure you guys want me to get on to how do I buy right now? Uh, because, hey, you're all excited. You want to learn exactly how to buy and how to sell. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch over to the uh, my screen here and share my screen with all you guys. And so you can see that I'm at the login page of uh, bitstamp.net. Now, at, at this login page, um, you, you should first register. If you don't have a, an account here, you have to register. And now the issue, again, with, um, with registration on this particular website is that you will have to provide KYC. Well, KYC information means you have to provide your um, identification and your address and a few, quite a few other things, information that makes it feel makes you feel like you know you're you're being um probed but hey most exchanges are exactly like that so here we're gonna log in and um and once i log in here um it's gonna ask me for my two-factor authentication so i have on my phone a device an application actually that will um provide me with a secondary password that updates every 30 seconds so you, even if you got my password you wouldn't be able to log in unless you had this software application which would um, change the numbers every 30 seconds every 30 seconds and you'd have to get that that specific number uh generator for from my for my account so my account is secure so in this ac account i already have a uh, hundred dollars worth of btc and i'm going to just show you guys how to to sell that and, and also then buy it back, right? So let's start off with trade by clicking trade. We scroll down and click trade. And then you can see I have that, that, that small $100 worth of Bitcoins. And I'm gonna click on the sell, right? Just click on the sell section here. You can see it's already clicked. And then I'm gonna copy this number, copy. And I'm gonna sell the whole thing. And let's paste it in here. There we go, paste. And there's a little space there, so I'm going to delete that space. And you can see that there's going to be a fee, right? I'm going to just move myself up. There we go. 
there's going to be a fee of 5% when I sell this. So just remember that. And of course, you can buy with a credit card. So that's also a, um, a great way to um, buy a uh, Bitcoin. But there will be additional fees. So I'm going to sell them, right? And there's like several uh, or options, right? And I chose the instant option to sell it immediately. And there is other options, right? Um, instant option is basically the same as market order. There's no difference. I've actually asked them that specific question. A market order, basically, uh, let's just say you have a million dollars, right? You wouldn't want to do instant or market. You want to use limit if you had a million dollars. Why is that? Because there isn't enough liquidity, meaning there isn't enough people willing to sell to you at the current price of $37,000. So you would have to buy up the market all the way up until you filled all your million dollars. So this causes those quick spikes when you see in the market. Um, somebody has like hit a, a market order or an instant order in this case, and they've bought up the market right higher, uh, not realizing that, hey, you can actually hit the limit order and decide how much you want to sell and what price you want to sell it at. And then you wait for people to actually sell it to you. Then uh, on the buy side, it's obviously on the opposite, right? For example, if you want to do um, a limit order on the buy side, I'm going to click the buy. You would uh, set the price you want to buy and you'd wait for someone to, to sell you the, um, the Bitcoin there at that price. So I'm going to do a limit, or, uh, uh, sorry, a market order because the same thing as an instant. A little bit, it's this thing is a little scrolly away from me, but there we go, we got that. And I'm gonna buy with everything I got. Market, right, how much you wanna buy. Unfortunately, what I don't, there it is, there's a 75%, is there a 100% um, option there? I don't see one. Um, I don't see a 100% option, which is kind of weird. It does, um, if you want to buy, if I want to buy it, spend all my Bitcoin, all my cash, I don't see an option of how much to do that. That's that's another downfall of um, Bitstamp. So I'm just going to hit the 75% and hit the buy because you, let's just say you want to spend all your money. There should be an option to put, okay, 100% and how much do I get? But we'll, we'll deal with that and uh, do 75% and hit the buy order. And there it is. I've purchased right um eighty dollars worth of bitcoin so if i head over back to my dashboard i will see the bitcoin there and there it is i have eighty dollars worth of bitcoin um purchased and that's it there you go now you've seen some pros and cons of course as we talk as as i've gone through this process and i want to share a few more uh pros and cons with uh with you about um bitstamp one of the things that they, they do allow is different currencies usd not only just usd but also the great british pound and euros um they also provide decent support right and a wide range of charting tools and it's fairly easy to use now uh, the the key downfalls are basically the high fees if you're trying to trade on this thing Fees are 0.5% and that's kind of high. I'm used to seeing like 0.25% uh, or lower, when, especially when you're doing a limit order. Whilst the limit order on uh, on, on Bitstamp is always always at 0.5% and half a percent. I find that is is a big, a big mistake of theirs. It should be like 50% less because you are waiting for your order to fill and you're providing liquidity at the exchange. Now, also, uh, which is common across the board, is international wire transfers take two to five business per day, so you have to wait until you actually see the money before you see the money into your account. You also, another negative downfall is, um, well, the, the KYC, basically. The amount of questions they ask uh, really leaves you feeling very uncomfortable. And so that's why I'm, I've been asked many, many times to, to, for KYC, even asked where I was born and what city I was born, right? Uh, it was, I'm like, that's absolutely ridiculous. But hey, that's the kind of crazy things they 
uh, information they want to know and they also want to know exactly where you got the money and if they don't feel that that's the truth they will ask you multiple questions to verify your income stream so yes it's a little bit difficult to actually open up an account at bitstamp but it is possible all right with that said uh thank you all for watching i hope you uh learned something today and i look forward to you guys um checking out our, my binance video when it comes out available remember bitcoin's real bitcoin's here to stay and you need to be a part of it so don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below